Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. Well, we're here at the Alton Towers Resort for our annual shops and merchandise tour. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be going across the whole park, going in all the shops, showing you the merchandise and most importantly showing you prices. Oh, it's something that we do every year here on the channel. I know a lot of people like it. We've had a lot of requests for it again this year. And we're going to start off here in Forbidden Valley and check out a brand new shop for this year. And that, of course, is Supply Store Bunker 94, right opposite Nemesis. So come and join us. Hey, there she goes. That was three born here on the channel as we take you around all the shops with the Alton Towers and check out the awesome merchandise for this year. And it's nice to actually start this video down here with a shop in Forbidden Valley because it's been quite a few years since the valley had a shop. And that was, of course, down at the exit to Galactica. You just walk through it now. It was all boarded up a few years ago. Uh, so it's the first time there's actually been a proper shop down here in the valley for quite some time. It's really nicely themed on the outside as well. You've got all the Nemi tentacles going up the side of it. And let's go and have a little look at the merchandise. We love the theming in here and the fact you've got all the music, the announcements, the lighting as well. And every so often the lights drop out which is pretty cool. Right, let's start off over here talking about uh, some of the Nemesis of Terra merchandise that we've got. We've got these t-shirts. What I do like is these are embroidered. So this was, this is like made to last which is fantastic. So we've got the nice red and it's got the vein effects on the side. Now can I find any prices? I can. £30 for that one. There you go. Yeah, yeah, quite these. nice. These are really good for like take to school and stuff like these are lovely these are oh, the curse of the no price oh we got a price on there there we go are they on the top no no, no price oh, oh no there's one down here there we go 18 pounds that's not too that's bad it. actually there we go yeah we always find that when we go around some of the shops alton towers like they need to make pricing clearer like i wish there was just some more signs and things around with price nice big size in the bag pack there and then you can pop it on your back that's yeah. not too bad of a price really the quality of the merchandise has really stepped up the past few years and for 2024 that uh, seems to keep on going which is great so yeah all your subterra merchandise oh now we love these jackets priced at 70 pounds Nemesis 1994. Now you've got the denim range, but they also do come in black. However, they're out of stock at the moment. I did manage to get one, so hopefully they'll come back into stock soon, because I know that so many people have been after the black versions, which are really nice. They are really nice, those. We love them. You've got the crop tops just over here as well. That Nemesis 1994 on. They're priced at £22. £20 for this Nemesis Reborn t-shirt with a great design on. And you got the hoodie, I've got this one of course. I've got it on right now actually, 60 pounds. And yeah, and now is a good time to mention that if you've got annual passes, you do get your discounts. And when there's been platinum pass holders, you get 20% off. So yeah, it does make a big difference. Nice Phalanx t-shirt just over there as well. We've got a price on that one for you. I think it's inside. Oh, there we go, lighting's dropped. Oh, no price on there. Oh. This is quite a nice collection of merchandise just over here the logo just on there yeah i like it when they have these with the pricing on it's nice and clear bottle is 15 pounds just down there they're quite good they are actually yeah i like those water bottle yeah they're quite good oh this soundtrack gives me goosebumps i have it on in the car all the time i like these for this year 10 pounds for a storage box like these are worthwhile aren't they like might have to get a few of those oh there we are knocking the prices off got it. that's it you got it <laughs> Yeah, they're really good. Like, I'm loving them. And of course, you can get your uh, trophies just at the top of this here as well. They're priced at £10. A different design for this hoodie just over here with the eye on and of course the teeth of the Nemesis Beast, £60. Then you've got the little pockets down there on the front. This is quite a nice design just here as well with all the veins on. Matches the track. That's priced at £22. I'm loving the embroidered merchandise though. £25. I'd much rather pay more than have the quality. I keep thinking there's a power cut when that goes off. So like system fail detected. I love it. Really cool in here. And of course you've got the Nemesis eye just over there as well. <laughs> Oh, I'm really liking these. These are really good. I believe these are new and I've not seen these before. They're great. Priced at five pounds. That's not bad at all. Shot glasses, three pounds. These are like the old school ones they used to do here. Like back in the early 2000s, I've got a full collection of old Alton Towers shot glasses. They're nice. But yeah, them glasses are great. Lovely they are. Notebooks, they're quite nice. I like the vein effect on those. How much are they? Not they are the on. Price, uh, 12 pounds. Yeah, they're quite good. No easy price to see for this one again, unfortunately, but there you go. You've got the nice pack of four badges. 
just there as well. And Nemesis Reborn, the phalanx, the coordinates, and then also as well, the logo down there at the bottom. A selection of key rings just here. The eggs, Nemesis Subterra. This one with a few facts on, four inversions, more alive than ever. I'm not too sure about this one. I don't really know what's going on. Is it's it got on your bag, is it? It's got Nemesis Reborn on there. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like a compass on, on, yeah. on the bag, I think, isn't it? Yeah. A bit different. Tote bag just down there as well, six pounds. And here's the awesome model, not for sale. And hopefully it never is, because this looks amazing here in the shop. Like, what a piece. I really like how Alton Towers, you know, built this and put it in here. Fantastic model of the station. I reckon they used this for reference when they were doing all the re-theme of the monster itself. It looks brilliant. Now we've got loads of old Nemesis bolts for sale in here. You can get the double bolt priced at £150. And then you've got the single bolts, which are priced at £100 just over there as well. And here so they are. You do get them on like a nice plaque and stuff, which is nicely presented. There they are. A little bit pricey, I think. Though. Yeah, it's quite expensive, yeah. but you know, it is a piece of history. They're well presented. Just there with the bolts. <laughs> and they've got a kids' range of Nemesis Reborn merchandise £15 for the t shirt. 30 pounds for the hoodie just there you've got the zip up hoodies down here too they're pretty good have a look at the price on them 100 pounds oh that's expensive for the zip up uh, that, and it's not even embroidered is it what oh. 100 pounds yeah that, that is expensive that. that's not even embroidered. Not embroidered and then this 45 pounds and it's all embroidered that doesn't make much sense on the price in there that's a lot that is isn't it Woo. yeah this is good for 45 and you got the kind of vein design on the side there as well. Something that I've always loved at the Merlin Parks are the resins ever since they first started selling them. And this year they've updated the design of the resins. And of course you've got these new Nemesis ones as well. So there's a look at the beast itself. You've got the eye on there, you've got the logo on the front and the design of that just there. Very well detailed. And then down here you've got the Nemesis train as well. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the design of this one. I'm not going to lie. I think like with the track at the top, um, it looks like really thick. I'm just not too sure. It looks a bit out of proportion for me with this one. But yeah, this is the new style of resin. Um, so this one's priced at £18. And the Alien is priced at £25. That's definitely the better out of the two. However, I'm just not a fan of it having this on the side. I'd rather have not had the logo and just had the actual uh, station itself on there. But yeah, they are nice though. You've got the new Nemesis umbrella just there. I've seen quite a few people with these this year. Price at £20, they're not too bad. They're quite big ones as well. I like how they're in the phalanx barrel just down there too. Look at these, the, the patches. patches. There's only this one available. They did have a few more. Hopefully they get them back in stock, but these are awesome. I think these are fantastic. So you could get that denim jacket and sew these on, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could either, I think these are either sewn on or you might be able to iron them, but it doesn't actually say what they are for, but these are great. They're really good. Have we got a price for the patches on there? Unfortunately not. No, oh, oh, there, oh, there, there you go, five pounds. I think the issue is with these, I know they've done it black and uh, red to fit with the theme, but it just doesn't work. Does it? The text oh, should have all been white on there, I think, or not a black background so you can read the prizes better. Got the magnets as well, these are quite nice. And this is reborn just there. Magnets are priced at £5 as well. Or is there no pricing yeah. on that one? I, I really don't like the display no. of the pricing in here. Like, it is really confusing. Like, you know, or if it's going to be set up like this, it just needs to have it on the back as well, on the tag. Very confusing. This is a really good read from, of course, legendary ride designer. John Wardley himself creating my own nemesis a really good book that I definitely recommend reading about John Wardley himself which is fantastic pop sockets for your phones oh, is that what it is, is that yeah one? so you pop that on the back of your phone it opens up so you've got something to hold your phone at the back oh, but again, I'm, I'm, oh there you go three pound for that one power cut <laughs> Now it's his monkey! He's so sweet! 15 pounds! <laughs> so cute! And the final section for it to see here in the shop. There's this little nemesis of terror area here. You've got the phalanx patch. More patches, which is great. They are good, those. I do like the patches. A very basic mug just down here as well. Yeah, it's not embossed. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I love this. I'm not too sure how much it is, though, unfortunately, because there isn't anything that yeah, I can see uh, that's Maybe £5, be. Pounds, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I can't see anything on there. No? Must be. You've got the big syringe pens just down there, £8. Pounds. There we go. That's a look. It's like Bunker 94. It's a great shop, it's really well themed. 
could have done with being bigger. If it was me, instead of having the new arcade at the top, I'd have made that a toilet block and also shop. Or maybe made this the toilet block down here, because there isn't any down this bottom part, other than the roller coaster restaurants, and then made that the shop at the top. Oh, some awesome merchandise for Nemesis Reborn here in Forbidden Valley on Towers. And just whilst we're here, I mentioned the arcade just. Here it is, it's now open. This should have been the shop in my opinion. And then I put the toilets down there at the bottom. Uh, but still, it is what it is. It's quite a big space in here. Um, but yeah, it's just an arcade, unfortunately. Would have liked to have seen them done something else with this. Right, on to the next shop down in Gloomy Wood. And our next retail outlet is actually right here next to the Curse Alton Manor. And of course, you exit the attraction into the attic of antiquities. Quality goods available in here, including some new bits for this year. Let's go and have a look. And we're going to start off straight here by taking a look at this fresh in over the past couple of days. How creepy is this? I love it. Yeah, it's only priced at £5. I think some of the merchandise this year is really reasonably priced. That's good with the Curse Alton Manor on. Yeah. The creepy doll just there. Nice little beaker. Yeah, it is plastic, not glass, this one. Oh, but still, yeah. I quite like that. A little bit different. Shot glass, it's branded as £8, but I'd really call it like an espresso cup I'd myself. Say it was espresso cup. Uh, there you go. I mean, I'm not really a coffee drinker myself, but that looks like more of an espresso. espresso cup than a shot glass. Uh, well, there you go. It's priced at £8. Then you've got this ride mug, which is £12 just there. So this is like a heat one, so when you heat it up, this would come a lot more prominent when you've put hot water into it. So this was in last year as it well, was, so yes. you may have already picked one of these up, but uh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. Some good merch for the Curse of Alton Manor. T-shirt just there. It is just printed on, but still, it's a nice design. I love the logo and the branding. We love this ride. That's £18. I think this is fantastic. Purple, that's £50, but again, it is embroidered. And you've got the towers just on the top there as well. So this is the new pin for this year, and I have to say, this is stunning. Look at the design on that. This is priced at £8, but well worth it. The detailing on there is fantastic. Yeah, I love that. With the manor really on, nice. it's actually um, the stained glass window from inside one of the first scenes in the ride. This is fantastic. Not a massive fan of these, but you have got the dolls just down here, 20 pounds. And you've got some magnets, which are five as well. On to the resin just over here. Oh, we love it. 18 pounds for that. That is a fantastic resin. I do really so like So well that. detailed on the inside. Happy New Year. When you turn it round. When you turn it round, it's actually the house. Oh, I think that's amazing. There we go, we've had many a tours around this house. We've still not put an offering to I buy know, it. I know, we've not. <laughs> <laughs> and you got like the flat mug down there, which is eight pounds, there's Emily. Yeah, you got the postcards that move, which are really cool. Pretty creepy. Yeah. And then you've got the key just up here as well. Like, I think this is fantastic. I love the key. <laughs> there we go, with the design, the towers, which is actually the lock down there as well. And that is priced at, I think it was just over here, I don't know why, but they, uh, is it eight, eight, not eight pounds, is it? Or is it classed as a resin? It's got to be classed as yeah, a resin. Yeah, it's got to be, must be classed so as a resin. 18. 18 just there. I was going to say, it says key down there, but there isn't a key, so yeah, it must be 18. This is new for 2024. I love this. 25 pounds, subtle as well, like you could wear that and your non enthusiast or theme park friends would think, oh, you know, it's just a nice t shirt with a house on, not realising, of course. Really, it's Alton Manor just here. So cool. 25, got the Curse Alton Manor on the side. Nothing on the back, Nothing I don't think. I think that is lovely, really nice, a bit more subtle. What have you got there, Sean? Kaleidoscope. So this is five pounds, and it does like all the different patterns and things in there. It's quite nice. I'd show you on the camera, but I don't think it's going <laughs> to show up. But you've got this lovely design, and that's like the wallpaper that you can see inside the attraction as well. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Notebook just there, yeah. nine pounds. That's really nice. Nice and bright on the front. Playing cards down there, three pound fifty. Air price at six pounds. And you've got these fantastic designs as well. I do like the ride medal. I think there's still a place for these. Like braving an attraction, whether it's a roller coaster or a dark ride, I do think they're very good. Ten pounds for the medal. I just think the price in it's just so hard to see. It like, is. You yeah. Just be able to look at it, like, that's how much it is. It's like that. It's hidden. Yeah, it's, it's really, really it's a bit inconsistent as well. Yeah. It's like here, like this is quite good in the middle, and then they've got the little ones. But then some bits, like you just want to see the price straight on. It's always annoying me a little bit the placement, some of the price in Alton Towers shops. And then you've got some more generic merchandise here. Of course, this is nothing to do with the theme of the ride or the area. You got like some skulls, some gargoyles. And some nice little bits of spirit board just there, but yeah, they're not really anything to do with the branding. Another hoodie just over here, which is £35. That's got the pockets in. 
We've also got the kids' t-shirts and the kids' hoodies. So the t-shirt's £12 and the hoodie is £25. Not too bad at all. And then you've also got all your sweets and other little plushies and things in here as well. And that's the thing, most of the shops around the resort have like sweets, plushies. Some of them have like the custom ride merch, so we'll show you those. And you can always get drinks in the shops as well. That's something that we really appreciate actually. Because often when we go to parks and broad in like mainland Europe and stuff, we'll just want to get like a bottle of drink. And we're used to here just being able to get one. You don't find it a lot of the time at other parks abroad, do you? A lot of the time you've got to have like proper like fountain beverages and you've got to drink them all in one go. Yeah. With these, at least you can bottle it up and then put it back in your bag. Yeah, I always appreciated that. Just being able to like grab some snacks, you know, in the shops. If you want to. There you go, the curse at Alton Manor. Attic of Antiquities. Let's head down now into Katanga Canyon. Choo choo! <laughs> Let's head round into the shop. It's called the Katanga Cargo Company and you exit the Congo River Rapids and also the Runaway Mine Train into this shop. There's not normally loads of themed merchandise in here. Uh, it's a bit more generic, but still, let's go have a look. I've always liked the theming in this shop, especially the big fans up there at the top. Yeah, they sell a lot of this kind of generic merchandise in here, so nothing really to do with the park, but pretty good fun. There we are, I could peck you with that, actually. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, so, yeah, I won't go into detail with prices and things over here, because obviously it's not Alton Towers related. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you some of the other bits you can get. Oh, there goes the monorail. Big yeah, lizards. big flushes. And there you go, XXL. Ge Gecko just there? Yeah, 120 pounds. You do still get your pass discount though on all this stuff. Sweets in here as well, Cadbury's. Yeah, all these sweets all the way down. So like I said, it's a bit more generic, this shop with what they sell. Some nice monkeys and plushies and things though. I just wish there was a bit more theme merchandise for the Rapids and also Runaway Mine Train. We've got a little bit, but not much. Choo Choo just there, 25 pounds. And you've got this really nice Katanga t-shirt. Yeah, I love that logo. I wish that was available more like an embossed mug and a few other bits as well. That's priced at 25 pounds. got it in a different colour. I think that's better actually. I think that one is. Yeah, I like that. That's, tw that's 28, is it? Is that, that was definitely 25 on it. 25, oh. and then you pay more because it's For the colour. Oh, you've got this better design, I suppose, on the side as well, yeah, which that one's... So. That's that one. That's one got yeah. it. I'm not too sure with that one. <laughs> I like how you can get the Runaway Mine Train socks just there as well. And there's some more branded socks around the other shops that we're going to see. Like rhymed. <laughs> the price at £6. And then you've got the kids' ones, which are 5 well, Some of these things are nice, but who comes to Walton Towers to buy like a massive giraffe? I mean, I'm not going to put that in the lockers at Nemesis Sub Terra, you know what I mean? Yeah, can I put this in the bag as well, please? <laughs> that's some lovely bits, but that's the sort of thing I go like the Trafford Centre for, you know. Well, there is some nice bits still. If you want to make like your own tiki bar or something. And as we leave behind Katanga Canyon, we're down here now in Mutiny Bay to have a look in the Mutiny Bay shop just over here. This is also the exit to Shark Bait Reef by Sea Life, the aquarium. I'll tell you what, this weather today is not nice. It's really wet and cold and windy. When's the weather gonna get better? We want some summer this year. Now this is another shop, much like the one in Katanga Canyon, that's got a lot of just generic merchandise in. We'll have a little quick tour around in here. You get the big crab just over there, 120 pounds if you want him. It's got like a few light ups and pirate gear. There we go, pirate hook, nine pound. Little crystals, mermaids, that sort of thing. Some big polar bears just over here. Yeah, there's lots of like general plushies. So yeah, not really much exciting in this shop in terms of themed merchandise. However, I know that the kids always enjoy generic toys and that sort of thing. You know, that mug's quite nice. Shark mug. <laughs> but it's not branded, you know, to Shark Bait Reef. It's had a little bit of Sea Life merch. I think that's where most of it comes from in here, actually. Uh, the same sort of merchandise you can find at Merlin's Sea Life centres. In terms of theming in here, though, these are quite cool. And the little portholes looking out. Penguins are quite good. Yeah, there's some good stuff. It's just, you know, it's just not very Alton Towers, is it? You know, a lot of the stuff in here. <laughs> Still, it's important though that they do sell this sort of stuff. I'm sure they sell a lot of it, especially with the kids, like, especially like school trips and that sort of thing. People love things like a grow mermaid clamshell. Like all these. these. Oh. oh, I used to love that when I was a kid. I used to play with them all the time. 
Wow. Now this is also one of the shops that actually does the personalised souvenirs, but we'll uh, talk about them up in Towers Trading because they've also got them up there as well. But yeah, they are available down in here and we'll show you how that works when we get up to the main shop next on Tower Street. Just walking up there from Uni Bay, some big gusts of wind and rain. This weather today, well, the sun was out earlier on. Like this weather at the moment, can't make its mind up, can it? I'm so <laughs> Right, we've made our way up here to Tower Street for the main event of the merchandise tour now. This is Towers Trading Company. It's the biggest shop here at Alton Towers out of the whole resort. Loads of new merchandise to see. Let's go check it all out. But just before we make it up to the top of the shop and the main event, just thought we'd show you the big sweet section down here and give you an updated pick and mix price as well. We always do this every year. If you watch these merch tours over the year, you'll see how much pick and mix has increased. Um, there you go, you can get all that different sweets and things in here. Massive selection. Here at the bottom of Towers Trading. And then over here to the pick and mix itself. There we go, so there's the selection. This year for a pick and mix large, it's priced at £10. Bear in mind, you do get your annual pass discounts, but we've noticed that it always used to be the same across the Merlin Parks. But I'm pretty sure at Thorpe Park, it was like £7.50, something like that this year. I think they'd just be the same across all the Merlin Parks. I don't quite understand the pricing with that one. Yeah, I mean, people love a good Alton Towers pick and mix though. Like, there we go, lots of choice all the way down here. So Some rock just down there, £1.50 for your ride rock. And pick and mix all the way down. See so yeah, this bottom section. There's all your different sweets, get a nice Alton Towers lollipop just down there too. Now three pounds. This shop's so big, it's split into like three sections. So you've got the bottom, which is all your sweets and drinks and that sort of thing. Then you've got this more generic section again here in the middle, all your plushies and toys. And then we get up to the main event itself, don't we? Yes, we do, Sean. <laughs> just down this way. You like him? Put him in the baggage hold, yep. Is he worth 120 pounds? I mean, he's not, no, but he's got lovely <laughs> long legs. His legs are near the height of you. Well, but... his legs are. <laughs> Massive. Wow. Right then, here we go. This is, I'm sure you've all been waiting to see the merchandise for 2024 here in Towers Trading. It's all this middle section, all themed around the different rides, your park merchandise as well, and so much more. So we're gonna have a good detailed look around all these different sections. We'll start off with these nice hoodies just down here, 45 pounds. Again, it is all embroidered for the quality. It's got the zips both sides as well, which is really handy having them both zipped up. Yeah, I think the zips are really good. You just put your phone and things in, keeps them secure, nice secure. whilst you're going on them rides t-shirts around here another one embroidered which is what we really like to see 18 pounds for that one which means it's going to last so much longer yeah much better than the prints definitely waterproof jacket just here as well with a zip on the front we need this today with the weather this is <laughs> priced at 28 pound for your waterproof jacket pretty good nice and lightweight as well yeah that's what you want rolls up in your bag nice and easy that does Nice jumper here as well, embroidered again, £35 for that one. You know when we film these vlogs, I feel like we're one of them um, shopping channels. Oh, no. You know, like, hey, here we go, you can get this. You can get your jumper here. <laughs> I know a lot of you find it really helpful, you know, to see all the merchandise. Yeah, we always try our best to uh, do this every year and, uh, yeah, show you what there is. Look at this, the tower's resin just there. There you go. And the towers ruins on and then the logo now this is where i want to say about the resins I, I might be you know in a minority by saying this but i think some of them now especially some of the ride ones they look a little bit on the cheap and tacky side like don't get me wrong i love the towers there but just having the logo on the side like look at the like you look in detail that close up like the wood at the sign and stuff i'm not like a massive massive fan of the design i wish they didn't have the logo on uh, on the side you see where i'm coming from i think for me i don't like the base on these ones and the issue is with these because of how they've been painted some of the paint comes across on there i like the actual resin but i don't like the base that comes the base with it. And, and the logo on yeah. there yeah not a huge fan but we'll get the prices because i can't see a, a price i believe for that one. these are 18 pound but there's no price on there at the moment oh there's one over there 18 pounds, 18 yeah. pound for the ruins resin some more generic Alton Towers merchandise with the logo on, like the trophies, eight pounds, still popular, aren't they? And then the big main event for this year, the coloring book. I have actually bought this and I've started coloring it in. I'll have to show you when it's all finished, but this is fantastic. I think this is really, really good. Like I've enjoyed coloring these in so much. Like it's got all your ride bits in there. It, this is just great. I love this piece of merch. Yeah, some good logos, the towers, all that kind of stuff as well. Notebook, that's 15 pounds with the logo on the front. These trophies look quite good. There we go, quite like that one. Oh, the logo just disappears there in the middle. That's pretty good. The medals, eight pounds just down there. Yeah, like medallions, really good. 
I went on my first roller coaster at Alton Towers Resort. Yeah, I, like, I think like trophies, medals, they're good. You know, they sold this sort of thing for years, but I do like them. Oh, you got the cute little bear just over here. 18 pounds, and he has got the towers embroidered in the bottom. A nice gold logo on just there too. Water bottles, these are very nice. Priced at, I believe, 12 pounds. And then the, I don't know Jum which one Jum that would oh, be. Jumbo bottle is this one, isn't it? Nine yes, pounds. So there we go. And then it'll be 12 pounds for that one. Yeah, pretty I've good. Had that design. For quite a few years. I quite like that one. Yeah, water bottles can't go wrong with them. This is a good mug with the uh, logo on just there. And again, it is embossed, which is what we like. And it's got the smaller logos in purple around the side just there and it's priced at £12. Oh, it's down, down there. Right, down there. Right, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Funny labelling. I love it. There's another bear just over here as well. With a pink logo on. Just there. Pretty good. Not a fan of these ones, just here, like black and gold. I just don't think it really stands out that well. Saying that, it's a bit more subtle to have in your kitchen. And the little glasses I like just the there. Tumbler glasses, but it is quite hard to read the logo on there. That's priced at seven pounds, and the mug is nine just on there. Ah, yeah, so that, that's all in the bottom, is yeah, it? Yeah, so it's all like in the bottom of there. Another brand new item for 2024. The surrounding on bear. He is so nice. Like, look at his little suit that he's got on. He looks <laughs> so sweet. Logo embroidered on the bottom there as well. Oh. Oh, so lovely. lovely. And so of, soft. Of course, we have seen the big return of Alton Bear doing meet and greets this year as I well. I would love to see like a proper like Alton Bear tail that looks exactly like him in his little dungarees. I would buy that straight away. It's got to come at some point, hasn't it's it? It's old vibe straight away. Yeah, I'm liking the new bears. Yeah, he's very nice. £40, but like I say, you do get your discount. Not these ones just over here, not a huge fan, not really that relatable. It has got the logo on, so at least it is branded in with the park. Hug and Bear, £20, so not too bad. Of course, they've still got this retro range that they've been selling for a few years now, but it must be popular. I see quite a lot of people still wearing these, and it's nice little throwback there for the black hole, 28 pounds. And the flume just over here. Oh, I do miss the flume. Even I miss the flume. What a water ride! I, know, I used to love the flume though. It was a classic, wasn't it? And the duck and everything. Of course, the main duck itself uh, can now be found in the Curse Alton Manor when you're in the Dolls House scene. Court screw top. I've actually got the t shirt that they sold on the day when the court screw closed, the 9th of November 2008. I assume that's 28 as well, is it? 25? Oh, well, there you go. That's why you got to check yeah, on you. Consistency. Sure these prices because they're a bit inconsistent. I know it's a different design, yeah. that one, but yeah, I'm not too sure. And then you got like a Tanga Canyon shirt, which we saw earlier on, just around there. Now, some of the best selling merchandise here at Alton Towers is definitely for the Smiler. You see people wearing it all the way around the park. And well, we've been in parks on the other side of the world where we've seen people wearing the famous black and yellow of the Smiler. And yeah, there's quite a few new bits. I'm really liking this shirt, all the faces on. 25 pounds, black and yellow just there. You got a new hoodie that's got like a furry sort of, the Smiler's like a fur oh, sort of. It's a bit like the car wash isn't it like yeah. on the marmalizer i think that's what they're trying to go for there 55 for that one that's pretty good though feels good now we mentioned up in the nemesis shop how they started bringing the patches in not just for nemesis but for the other rides as well you belong to the smile of five pound these would be great to like put on a jacket for all the rides i think that blue nemesis jacket Definitely. like you could sew all these in it would look really nice it would. Like, i think that'd be great we got some uh, some bucket hats just over this year. I mean, I'm not really a bucket hat person myself, um, but they are uh, selling them just here. I'm not too sure on the pricing for the, the bucket hats. I can't. I'm guessing uh, that's 18. Smiler reverse. Smiler reverse. Yeah, because no. it reverses inside out. All oh, right, but so, for, for me, yeah, that's it like needs to Smiler reverse. It should say like the Smiler bucket hat. Bucket and also, hat. it's not called Smiler. It's the Smiler, isn't it? There yeah. we go. A little bug of mine. <laughs> So we've got this hoodie as well, so it's like a tie-dye hoodie. Not embroidered, but this is priced at £60. You're getting marmalised looking at that. I know. Like, the <laughs> Not my sort of thing, but, you know, might be for some people. And you've got this t-shirt. This is 25 More subtle. It is subtle. There we go for that one. And then you've got this. I like this one, you know. This is a good one. That's great. That one. Kind of black and yellow, split down the middle, and then the, the logo changes on and there it's as got well. An embroidered, the smiler on the side. Mm, yeah, I'm liking that. It's pretty good. Another zip up jacket for this year, new. This is £60. It's also very good. Mm, pretty decent, that is. Your merch for the smiler. Smile always. On to 
14. I'm just here now. That's my impression of the announcements. <laughs> I love this. This is really good. So you've got like the embroidered on the front for 13. Then you've got like the branches coming down the side of the arms. But it's like a felt material on there. They're very out there, some of the new merch for this year. It's like the new Nemesis hoodie that I purchased. It's out there, it's in your face, but I do like that. It's good. So we've got £35 for that one. Then this one, Curse of the No Price. If I can find <laughs> so this is £45. This is really nice. I like the colour block, which is really good. Yeah, I, I like this kind of splitting the colours off, I like do, green yeah. and black. Like That just goes really well. There's That's a good cap material. for this year, just down here too. That's brilliant, if I can get it off. There we go. So this is £15 for this one. 13 just on the side there as well. Nice good quality on that one. Around the top. This is good with the facts on just here. It's quite funny because the photo looks a bit kind of generic, <laughs> like the riders on there and stuff. But I do like this, how you got 13. I've always liked how it's spelt as well. Then you've got some facts just on there as well. 25 for that one. Pretty you good. Oh, that's movie. the back, is it? Ah, oh, I yeah, didn't realise. So you've got the front and then it's on the back. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. That one. Another nice awesome hoodie. hoodie, that one. That's brilliant, £55 for that one. The quality of the merch this year though, really like, you know, they've really stepped up. You go back like even four or five years, we weren't getting as much embossed stuff like this stuff. It lasts so much longer. Yeah, it's, it, it might be a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's made to last and that's exactly what you want. I'm liking how this is set up with the different sections in here this year as well. I feel like there's more price this year than last year though, so a bit of an improvement to Tower's trading from last year. £30 pounds for Wicker Man. And then on the back, it has got Big Bob. Hey. I'm not too sure about the print on there though. I feel like after a few washes, this could not wash very well. Yeah, it uh, might start it is, coming off. Yeah, but it is very cool to have on the back. Some of this stuff, your best hand washing only, I yeah, think. Definitely. Like, you know, even if it says you don't have to, I, I think I it's worth it. it. Be chosen. Be chosen. Just down here again. And then embroidered. it has got an embroidered wicker man on the back. Ooh. And then down the side. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, it I, is. I like that. And you got that same image just on there yeah. as well. Yeah, that's that pretty is good. 55 for that one. Yeah, that's quite decent. I like that. Another patch. These patches are really good. Nice design. I can't wait to see someone do like a full outfit with them. So we've actually got the adult bucket out for this one, but the oh, other yeah. one it said smile and reverse. Unless that was something else, I it's don't know. It's got because I think they're oh. the same prices. Yeah, I'm not it's too sure. They reverse inside out some of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but this one does. That yeah, one yeah, does yeah I don't know. That's funny, that inside. I'll just call it smile and reverse. And we got this one. So this is another one of the jumpers embroidered again. Feed the flames. Yeah. Priced at £50 for that one. Again, though, Nothing pretty good quality. Yeah, I'm liking that. Good display. What have we got down here at the bottom? And that's another new hoodie. Loads it's of zips funny on that, that one. one. Yeah, I like how it's got the zips, but yeah. I don't really know how the white comes into it with no, Wicker Man. I'm not like too sure. for me, I probably wouldn't have gone for the white on there. But still, the zips are really handy. I'd have maybe gone for orange. Yeah, sixty quid for that one just there. And we have uh, got these t-shirts. Have we already seen that? Yeah, we have, haven't we? The t-shirts oh, just yeah, down there. The, there we go. That's the t-shirt. The same pattern, but then the jumper. That's nice. Pretty good. Wicker Man, and they're priced at £25. Then this is the kids' range. Rita. Little Rita. <laughs> That's really sweet. Embroidered though again. Yeah. We've got some like tyre marks on the side. How much are we looking at for this one? £35 for that one. Not too bad. Little uh, top for the smiler. Which Similar design one? to the adults. You can all match. 18. Matching oh, family. Cute. A few different uh, caps there as well. Got an Alton Towers one. You belong to the Smiler and Wicker. And then that's got some flames on the inside. Oh, feed the flames. Feed the flames. T-shirt. We've got these just down at the bottom. We've still got to check out the Wicker Man and the Smiler shop as well. So stay tuned for those. And here's some other bits in the kids section as well. £18 for the T-shirt just there. Pretty good with the design on. I like how you've got the Wraith on there as well. Galactica, just off to the right, £30. And you've got Oblivion and another 13 one just down there as well. 35 and 25 for them. And whilst we're still here in this section, there's another item for Wicker Man just over here. I would already class that as like a long sleeve t-shirt kind I'd of probably idea. class it as a long sleeve. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what it is, isn't it? Really, it's very thin, but then it's got like the design on the inside. I'm not, not a massive. Yeah, not for that. me that one. It's got the logo in the middle. More subtle though. And that's the bottom section that shows just how big this shop is. Monopoly down there on the floor as well. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is from the bottom section. We've got all this top area to have a look around now. Some more bits for the Smiler. I like it because they split more of the clothing down there at the bottom. And then some of the other items up here and some other bits of clothing too. This is very out there, isn't it? This is a good one. Look at that. 
Is that 85 that says on there? Yeah, yeah it, it is 85. 85 yeah. So you've got a mix between printed on and embroidered. Is there anything on the back? Oh, yeah, oh massive smile. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Got the bags as well. Yeah, these are new, aren't they? Like having the little mini bags just here. These are good little bags for the parks, just for putting like your phone and little bits in there. If you didn't want to carry loads, you can have a little bag, which is great. Sixteen pound. Yeah. Not too bad. Then you've got the little bag pack as well, which is really cute, priced at twenty five. Yeah, like a, that's like a leathery style bag there. Isn't and it? then this one, they've had this one for quite a while. But that's a great bag, and it glows in the dark. Nice little touch. Yeah. I like how even the, on, on the zip, you know, that's got the the smiler on. I'm just not a hundred percent sure on pricing for that one because. It doesn't say. Yeah, I'm not too sure it's hidden away down there. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Carrying on then. Loads of new for 24 signs, which I'm liking. You got the Pyraminx just there, is that how we say it? That's 20 pounds. Like a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, a little bit different, but it's a pyramid. And I love this. Probably my favourite new addition for merch this year outside of the Nemesis range. It's this mug for the Smiler. You know me, I'm a mug for mugs. I've got over 300 in my collection. So this, unique. This is like three in one, like stacked up. That is brilliant, that I is. love the design of that. Like That's one of my favourite new items yeah. this year, that is. £12 for that one. Fantastic. Mugs have gone up in price, but yeah, I do like that one. Liquid timer, £8. And then you've got the Smiler Bear just down there at the bottom, which isn't priced. And they got a few other little toys just here, like you got a slinky, £3.50. Got some pens with these on the top, there you go. <laughs> jigsaw puzzle. 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. And then the space hoppers that we've had for years. Yeah, yeah, £20 for that, and the space hoppers, £7. They've been pushed to the bottom now, the space hoppers. Storage cubes, really liking these for this year. You can have a whole kind of selection of them. The well, smiler. The bear, 40 pounds. 40 quid for the bear. So 10 soft. pound for the storage cubes. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> Packing cubes. Are they different? Uh, are they the same size or are they stacked up inside? I think oh, they're stacked, oh, they're just just stacked up. Just over there, got the smiler bear. Little monkey down here. <laughs> 16 pounds for that one. <laughs> If you fancy creating your own The Smiler themed bedroom at home with black and yellow walls, you could do with this bed set just over here. They have actually got a room themed around The Smiler at the hotel, but maybe you want one at home. However, I've just seen this. I'm not too sure about the quality. Like, look at that. Oh, God, surely that should not be on display. Like, oh, and, and this one. Is that actually on the thing, or is that just I the, think that's the, the back? That's, over that's the, the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, not a, not a huge fan of those because you still want to keep the bag as a souvenir, don't you? I'm surprised that's still out on display. Look at all this section for the Smiler. I feel like there's more merch for this ride than ever before. There's more than when the ride first opened back in 2013. So much. Another mug just there. That's a cool one. Smile always. <laughs> that's £12. You got the travel mugs there, 15 just down there. Blimey, there's some good stuff this year. Bags again just there. This is another one where you put hot water in it, so it will start like that and then it will end like that, so you'll see the rise layout on there. And that's from like the promotional images yeah. when it opened as well, which is pretty good. Already seen the bags and the monkeys just down there. There's a little notebook just there as well, £8.50, just with the logo on the front. And then you've got the medal. Just down here at the bottom. Oh, get that out. Had to crouch down to get that one. There we go. <laughs> Smile always. Yeah, some good stuff. Key ring selection just over here oh, as well. that's a nice key ring. Just, can you just leave me alone? That one. That's good with the marmalizer on. And yeah. the logo sticks out as well. There's loads of These key These are like all the shiny like mirror ones. Fluffy ones. Big fluffy balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the socks just over here. There's stuff with the Smiler everywhere. There you go, they're the big socks, aren't they? Like, go up your leg. Eight pounds. <laughs> For those just down there. We've got some more t-shirts down here too. 20 pounds and we've still got the Smiler shop to go and look in but I think a lot of the items in there you can already see in here and that's the thing there's some bits around the park that you can't always get in towers trade in um, but you know so it's always worth having a look around them individual shops too. Another hoodie. Good with the pockets isn't yeah, it? Yeah really Great because it means you put your phone in, car keys, that kind of thing which is nice. This is a good display I like how this has been set up. Got the cap just over there, we've got a price on it. So, uh, 15 pounds, it's on the top. Just over there. You start realizing actually a lot of this is just repeated. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. good from afar, but well, actually a lot it's of it repeated. is. It is repeated just down here, but still, some very nice bits for the smiler. Into the other 13 section that they've got in here now with the bear. He's got a very shocked face, He's hasn't like, he? <gasps> Ooh, that drop, he wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Bedding down here as well. And there's the price in just around here. There we go, £18 for the bears, monk is 16, duvet sat 35, and a cushion, 15. Oh, the cushion's so good, I love that. 
Oh wow! Do you go down to the woods today? You better not go alone. That's brilliant. 13. <laughs> Fantastic that, really nice item. A few other bits over here, we've got some mugs. Got the wraiths just on there. The old surrender poster eye on there as well. That's pretty good. I like this one. You've got the coaster train rushing through the forest just there as well. I wish the forest looked as good as this. Mm -hmm. I know that. Different mugs, that's a good one. Ah, oh, that's the back of that one, is it? I say, so that's embossed on the front. Yeah, and you got the big eye on the back. That's good to see. And then we've got the resins just over here. Here we go. So yeah, these resins are interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of these. I prefer the old style of resin. They've gone more down the, the train route now, but uh, the train itself looks all right, but it's more the logo. It's the, and, and it's the base. The base. I, I just don't like the base. I think for me personally, the base just looks really cheap. Yeah. Um, but the actual train design looks really good. Got the lap bars on in there. Yeah, it's got the lap bars, which is good. But I think also for some of these, I'm guessing that they've been hand painted and I think the thing finish of them is a little bit messy on some of them yeah um, which is a bit of a shame but they are quite cool, cool to collect yeah 18 pounds I mean they've gone up in price the resins for these as well but um, yeah it's, it's one of them personally I won't be getting these ones because I'm not a fan of it the base and the logo but the actual train design on there is pretty decent but let us know your thoughts down below on the new style of resin Another new resin for this year. It's not opened yet, but here it is. Hex the Legend of the Towers. Again, the actual towers looks okay. But then this logo on the side. I, I'm not a fan of the finish of this. And then you've got the, the print just there with the chain on and you've kind of got like the brown paint going onto it. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan. I'm, I'm not going to lie of these. I'm really, really not. Yeah, it just looks a bit out of proportion with the bits on the side. And like the logos on the front. Yeah, they shouldn't have put them on. It didn't need them in my opinion. But still, 18 pounds for the resins. They've gone up quite a lot in price as well. Right then, here's something else that's new for this year. You've got these awesome cups, and I think the design of these is great for a plastic cup. Right? I think this is excellent. So <laughs> these actually light up, these do. So it gives it a sort of a flame effect, which is so cool. It's nice to know that the refill cups have gone down a themed route, because these are great to keep. Yeah, this reminds me of something like you'd see over in the States yeah, doing this brilliant. kind of thing. So here's the price. So the £20 for the souvenir cup, um, but also you can then upgrade for just £5 to get your unlimited drinks for the day. Uh, so it seems quite expensive, but uh, you know you can do that if you want to. It's only £5 more if you are buying the cop. And of course, you've got the coat freestyles all around the park. This cushion for Wicker Man's priced at 16 pounds. Loving the cushions. And we've got the Warmy just here. I mean, for me, I was not a fan of how some of this is displayed. Like that for me, ATR, which obviously means Alton Towers Resort, WM Wicker Man Warmy. For no, a lot of people, I'd like be like, what? what's an ATR WM Warmy? It doesn't make much sense. That's how it should come like on the box, you know, when it's delivered from the factory. And then it should say like, you know, just like Wicker Man Bear or something like that, in my opinion. They're still quite nice, aren't they? I'm not a massive <laughs> fan, but these are quite good because you put them in the microwave in the warmer. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, so that's why they've got all balls in there oh. you put them into the microwave and it keep it like warms it up so you can hold it and it'll be nice and warm so you warm up wicker man's balls you walk up there we go <laughs> that's what you do put in the microwave there you go lovely this is a great mug or mug 12 pounds <laughs> oh. nice design just on there as well drinks bottle 15 pounds Hey, another bear. I think this is brilliant. I think he's lovely for 40 pounds. So cute, so soft. <laughs> and he's got Wicker Man on his left foot there as well. Yeah. More storage cubes. Liking these, you have a good selection. Maybe storage cubes. They're really good. Snow globes just here as well. It's like this, the 65 millimeter globe and the 100 millimeter globe. So like small or large, you know, it gives you yeah. the exact measurements, you know. There they are. Another one, ATR WM <laughs> Wooden. Wooden, yeah. <laughs> That's nice though, it's a good item that, with the promo image and that looks fantastic. Bit of a classic these are now, the Wicker Man bags, but you've got them just over here. I don't think the full range of Wicker Man merch is in here, like I said, that's why you still want to go around the other shops. So we'll go and have a little look inside the Wicker Man shop this afternoon and show you that too. Another hoodie just over there. No price on that oh, one. Man. Too sure if it's on the side or not. And then you got the resin just here. 
There we go, another one. I think the train on this one looks better than the 13 one. It's got but... no lap bars though. No, it hasn't. <laughs> yeah. That's quite funny, isn't it? No lap bars. But yeah, they've got they've done the zero car pretty decent on that. And it's the base and the logo, which I'm not a fan of. They're all like a little bit different as well, aren't they? Like with them. Yeah. <laughs> not the best. That's Tankards up there. 15. Oh, it's not a mug, is it? You put pens in Yeah, there. yeah. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a tankard, so technically you could, but you know, it's one of them, isn't it? Recommended for ornamental use only. Yeah. I think this was the one they did like a product recall on a couple of years oh, ago. Uh, and then they so were like, yeah, like you can't mug. use it as a as a mug. And we got more of the section for Wicker Man here. A lot of just repeated items around here. Like I say, we will be heading into the Wicker Man shop this afternoon. A few bits for Nemesis Subterra. These are very generic, aren't they? I think these are some of the bits that they just had when they first opened it again last year. And yeah, I don't think they'll struggle to sell a lot of these. It's very, like, look at the design of that, just like plastered on the side. Yeah, not a huge fan. We saw all of this up in the shop at the Curse at Alton Manor, but you can pick them up down in here as well. And over to this Oblivion section. Let's have a look over here, because of course Oblivion doesn't have its own shop. There used to be one at the exit, but it's been boarded off for many years now, 55 pounds. I think the branding for Oblivion is still really good. I do like it. In terms of this here, I do worry about that along the, the zip just there, about in the long term, how that's gonna last. Got the little bear just there, the monkey, 16 pounds. And you got the mug, which is 12. <laughs> and we got another resin just there ready to see. I Look at this say, one. Out of most of the resins that we've seen, this is the one I least like. I, I, I'm just not a fan of the new design no, of resin I myself. I, I, find, I think they look a little bit cheap, a little bit tatty. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I think the finish, and you look at them for the price now. Like resins used to be like eight quid. It was like, oh, fantastic. You get a nice piece. They look the part. I think they've brought a lot more colour into them and things now. And yeah, they just, made them, they just look a bit cheap and, and nasty they've in my lost opinion. A bit of the quality I because think they've so. brought the colour in. Yeah, like, I prefer them without having that. Like, I like the old Oblivion ones, yeah, with like the drop and just the small yeah, shuttle yeah. on, um, but still 18 pounds just down there. Medals, eight pounds down there at the bottom. That's, That's good. I like that one. Simple, but effective. So that is 45. Don't look down. Let it go just on the front. It's got Oblivion. Oh, don't look down, down on the side. side. That's good. Yeah, I'm really interested to know all your thoughts on these resins. So honestly, comment down below, let us know. I think it's a, a real mixed one for people. This is pretty good, 25 pounds. Of course, max vertical angle of 87.5. I'm glad they got that right, the facts on there. Sometimes they get the facts wrong on the shirts and stuff. There you go, 87.5, because it's not fully vertical. And that looks nice for Oblivion, 20 quid. Pretty good, don't look down. Right, Rita now, oh look at this resin. Out of all the resins, this one is my favourite. I think this is the one that doesn't, it hasn't got a standout base as much as the other ones. Yeah. Because it's grey, this is my favourite one. I think this is really nice. And also what's different here, if you look on the side, how they put Rita on, it's actually the logo yeah. and it's not on like a background. This if is you, my favourite one. With, with the other ones, it's got like that black At background. Yeah, so yeah. I, th yeah, I agree, that is definitely That's the, best the best one. one that they've done there. And it, it looks like the biggest one as it well. It does, it's quite large, isn't it? Trophies just up there. We've had this mug for quite a while now with the bolts just on there. The and the monkey just over there as well. Rita, this is quite good. Embroidered again. Yeah, I do like that. 45. 45 pounds. Over to Galactica just here now. Mugs just there. 12 pounds for the mug. Trophies again, 10 pounds. You get the full selection of those. And then we got Galactica. I'm not sure on this one again. <laughs> but because it's black, it does sort of blend in in a way. It does. It's this that I'm not fan. So for yeah. me, like if you go back over to this one, like, I really like how you know the Rita is, is on the side there and it's actually the, the logo, whereas this, again, you're going back to this little thing on the yeah. front. I know you can maybe remove that if you wanted to, but then you know he starts taking away from it. Yes. So yeah, I'm just not a, not a huge lover of them. I think in terms of clothing, we've got the best range of clothing in many years just here. This is quite interesting is. with this, because obviously the old name for the attraction was Air, and then this says the Air Wing 6000 Craft. Could that be something to do with a retheme in the future, going back to kind of the phalanx and that sort of thing? I mean, obviously, you know, they use this in the Galactica storyline, but I'm thinking more long term, could they go down this route, you know, with uh, bringing it in with the phalanx and that sort of thing, really you know, like more of an aircraft instead of like a space flight? Really like this 
hoodie. Love the colour of it. I think it's really nice. Fantastic. How much are we looking at? 55 for that one. 55 pounds. Alton Towers football just there with all the different rides on and also the logo as well. Priced at 18 pounds. We saw it on the floor earlier on, but here you can buy the Monopoly just there as well. 40. And then you still got these mugs. Yeah, out of all of them, these are my least favourite. Just very generic white mugs and they're selling us a four pack just there with the logo on, Wicker Man, Rita and Oblivion on those, and then these ones have got the old Nemesis logo, um, 13 Galactica and the Smile. I like those. But yeah, I'm not a fan of those, I prefer the more custom ones. Got the travel mugs there, priced at eight pounds for those ones. This huge jumbo mug, 18 pounds. I like a jumbo Massive. mug. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the design, but I do still like a jumbo mug. Massive. Shot glass set just there. 20 pounds, like their shot glasses, not them ones that the Curse Alton Manor. That's an espresso an cup, that is. <laughs> and then top trumps, see? Hey. Yeah, top trumps, 10 quid. All your different facts and information on just there. They also sell a range of Alton Towers event merchandise in here all year round, such as this for the fireworks. That's cool, with it down the side. I still like the ones where they've got the big logo for the events though. 50 quid, I think that's a bit expensive. My favourite mug, this mug is fantastic. There's just so much detailing on there, priced at £16, but look, the handles are rocket. I do like that a lot, <laughs> I think that's fantastic. You've got the travel mug there, 12 as well. So we've got the magnets. down here. We'll have a look at the pin badge in a second. And There's a lot of pin badge fans. The pin badge. Just over there, Tim. Some Scarefest merchandise down here. Scarefest characters. Then you've got your jumper 50. Another good mug for Scarefest. Yeah, that's one. decent, that is. Yeah, I like that. £16 for that one. And this one down here as well. Yeah. Halloween. And there on the back, yeah, and there's a few little key rings and that sort of thing down the bottom as well. Another event, of course, in the calendar, Oktoberfest. So we've seen Mardi Gras and Festival of Thrills go this year. I'm not complaining about that though. I think it's good to, let's focus on more quality events this year, you know. Pin badge. And Oktoberfest, it's been a fan favorite for a few years now, so it's good to see that coming back. 40 quid there, the Oktoberfest hoodie. I like the little bear with his lady hosing on. That's quite cute, isn't it? 15 pounds. Nice color schemes. Christmas, they're actually on reduction these, that's interesting. Now they're 25 pounds. That's nice, magnet. I like the Christmas logo and this the Christmas mug's pretty good as well. Now I mentioned how earlier on you've got the personalized souvenir machines around in some of the shops, not all of them, but in a few of them. And that includes here. So yeah, what you can do is press the start and then you can like basically pick what you want. You can put your name on and that sort of thing, like different facts, you know, so like feel the, feel the thrill Beth, you know, uh, and that sort of thing. Some Nemesis things as well um, that you can do. And you pick your ride, you know, so we go on to Nemesis Reborn down there. Takes a minute just to load. There you go. And then you can do like the custom key rings and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's good. I, I like this sort of stuff here. Personalised. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it doesn't do it like automatic. I think then you, you take your receipt up and then they, they make it for you. But yeah, I think they're pretty good. And you can see like some little samples just off to the side. Nemesis Reborn with John just on there as well. Feel the thrill with Emma. And yeah, they're quite nice. Ellie has been chosen. <laughs> just before we get onto the pin badges down here. Shoot on. So I could put these onto my Crocs. <laughs> these are fantastic. I don't know how much they are. Shoe charm, six pounds on there. That's all right, I three. put them on my Crocs. And there we go, pin badges. I'll just have a little pan over all the pins. So in terms of prices for these. They do change depending on the size. But roughly, I'd say they're around eight pounds. And then when you've got the more advanced ones, they tend to go up to like nine, 10 pounds. So yeah, we'll good give you a little pan over all these. Good. Love the Tower Street music in the background as well. Some old, still kind of nostalgia from some of the old attractions on there. Around the world in 80 days. This is good for Hex. I like that. Let's just hope it opens soon. Still not heard any more updates on Hex. We'll keep you updated. And we do, the Smiler just down there, Galactica, Rita, even Heave Ho has got one. I'm glad they found the boat. There it is, Heave Ho. And off we go. You get the magnet set just there as well. Still got some for the scare mazes down here. Great. The attic, hopefully we won't be seeing that come back this year. We'll have some changes. Ottenville Mine Tours down there. Yeah, hopefully we're going to be seeing a much fresher scare fest from what we're hearing and seeing with the plan applications they keep putting in. And then you've also got some other keyring and magnets just here. That's 
quite a good design. Got the bronze on the side. Six pounds for them. Alton Towers Monkey, <laughs> 20 pounds. These are cool, your ride coasters. Coaster coasters? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Like, I like the look of these. Rita, 30, the Smiler. Six quid for the coasters, they're good. And what I like is they're all like different, aren't they? That's like a glass one, this is more of like a material. This is the tyre. It's like a rubber Yeah, one. they're good, they are. I really like those. You've got these like right up wristbands, the light up. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah, I don't what, know how to turn them on. on. Yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they? Yeah, not, yeah. Uh, not too sure on them. And then the notebooks at the bottom, well, there we go, coasters are fantastic. And that's it, I think we've done Towers Trading. I tell you what, it shows how much new merchandise there is for this year with the length of the vlog. We've been in here for ages. There's loads of new merch, fantastic. And you can also get your ponchos for them wet and windy and horrible days like today. There's the prices just down there. Uh, nine pounds for adults, seven pounds for kids, six pounds for toddlers. You got uh, another umbrella just down there too. And all your caps, and we've seen these throughout, but yeah, they're all £15 for all your caps. And of course, you get chocolate and all that up here at the top as well. I've got to say, I am very impressed with what we've seen there with merchandise. There's some really good stuff. There's only a few bits that I'm not too keen on, like the resins. Uh, but other than that, like some great merch for this year. Just wanted to get in as well about the uh, refillable cups. Uh, we are going to be doing our food um, tour around, showing you all the prices. That's coming up soon. Um, but yeah, just thought we'd mention these about the drinks. One bottle's £15, and that's for the Coke freestyles around the park. And the more that you buy, the cheaper they get. Oh, it's a bit windy out here this afternoon on Tower Street and you've still got the phalanx frogs just there behind us as well on this windy afternoon. And you know what? I'm really impressed with the merchandise in the shop. Um, some really good new things for this year. I think the clothing's improved so much. Along with that, I'm loving some of the new mugs, some of the other different items as well, some more unique bits like the coasters based on coasters. Uh, there's some awesome stuff, some great merch. And you can tell by the length of this video just how much new things there is for this year. Really good to see. Right, we're going to make our way now into Beebe's Land. We'll have a look in that shop. So this shop here is located right in the heart of the land and it's known as the Little Explorer's Toy Shop. Let's go and take a look inside. And of course they sell the iconic CBeebies bugs just in here. I'm actually wearing a little CBeebies land cat just on there as well as we can see. There we go. We've got a price just on there. I can't see them anywhere on the side either. Where's the sign over there? Oh, there we go. Large 18, small 10.50. There we go. Oh, small CBeebies bugs just down there, a few little clothes. You got like the clock tower just on there as well. 13 pounds, oh. <laughs> Get set go just there as well. It'll always be the scroll nutty for me though. <laughs> of course you can now meet Bluey in CBB's line, so there's some more Bluey merch just over here. We won't go over the prices for all this stuff because yeah. obviously a lot of it's quite generic. You can just buy it in a lot of places and toy shops or more just focus on the Alton Towers and CBB's line items. But yeah, just give you a bit of an overview. They do sell a lot of bluey in here. Bluey's been very popular. Bugs just down here. It's a nice themed shop. I like the uh, little balloons at the top. Hey Dougie just down here too. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else with the actual land on. And the number blocks just down there. Peter Rabbit just over here. The Teletubbies in the night garden. And that's the thing you exit from in the night garden here into the shop as well. Little bags for CBeebies Land on. Bugby Go Round, that's the little carousel ride. And that's about all with the actual Land on itself. Obviously, you know, kids just really want some of the characters on, don't they, really, in general. And yeah, so I'll give you a little bit of a look round, showing you that in here. There is a placemat, £7, with the entrance on with the trees. That's cute. Right, we'll leave CBeebies Land on to the next shop. We're gonna make our way down now into X Sector for the Smiler. Yeah, a lot of the merch in the Smiler and Wickerman shops we may have already seen in Towers Trading, but we'll have a little look anyway. Now, unfortunately, despite what the sign says, you can't actually buy the Smiler, but you can buy some merchandise from inside. So let's go and have a look. Now, I think most of this will have covered down in Towers Trading, so we'll just give you a bit of a pan round and say there's anything else a little bit different. Lanyards, five pounds. You put your annual pass in there. Of course, they're doing some custom annual passes now which is pretty good as well. There's a Hyperia and a Nemesis Reborn annual pass. They're quite nice. Cap's just there. 
15 pounds for adults, 12 pounds for kids. What's interesting with this shop, they've actually made it smaller this year. They've uh, made that like the storeroom at the back, made it a little bit smaller. I believe these are pajamas, which is quite cool. <laughs> I mean, on a summer's day, you can probably wear them around the park you if got you want it. pajamas there, which is good. Yeah, how much are they? 45, does that say? Yeah, they are, yeah. We've already seen all the bags and socks and that sort of thing in the other shops. I think we've seen all of this merch. Sure. The shirts, we've not seen this, have we? Yeah, it's £45 that is. Quite expensive, it is. but I do like the shirt. There we go, if you're going for a nice theme park meal out, maybe at the roller coaster restaurant. And we were there the other day, so check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. Zip up jacket, not priced unfortunately. £45, 45. which is quite interesting is, this is the same sort of style as the zip up jacket that we saw in the Nemesis shop, but that's £100. Yeah, oh, sort of paying for the name, aren't you? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen all this. The bucket hats, don't know about that one. A white t-shirt with a smiler down there as well. Just a couple of other bits. It's got the logo on just there, a darker version of it. That you can see. And all the clothing that we saw in Towers Trading, apart from this just here. The gilet, this is really nice. It's priced at £45 and it's embroidered again on there, which is great. Yeah, pretty good that is. Zip up gilet just there. Gilet. Never owned a gilet before. <laughs> I think with the weather in this country, like, I need a proper coat. <laughs> Cover my arms. There you go, that's by the Smiler. There's one of them custom merch machines down in here as well. <laughs> After making our way out of By the Smiler down in X Sector, we just walk past the towers and making our way now to the one shop that there is down here at the back part of the park, and that is in the world of David Williams. Yeah, there's no shops down in Dark Forest at all. There used to be a shop for both Rita and 13, but they were removed quite a few years ago. So this is Raj's shop. It's located at the exit to Gangster Granny the Ride. Let's go make our way inside. So this is another shop that's a little bit generic, a bit like the Katanga Canyon and Mutiny Bay shops, but still I thought I'd have a little look around. All sweets just down in there. And of course with the theme of the ride, it's all set up to be, you know, a bit cluttered and things everywhere. We also have a performer in here a lot of the time as well, just down here. David Wellings books. All down there as well. <laughs> Number one jewel thief. There's a little bit of merchandise for the ride, but a lot of it's just kind of London and generic merch. The world of David Williams, thanks to Granny the Ride. Swag. <laughs> Let's not look at the mug. Can't see the price though. And then you've got the key ring just down here with Gangster Granny on, just there as well. And you've got some t-shirts over here as well, these are all on sale. Robin Roll. <laughs> Ten pounds for the t-shirts. Yeah, a lot of this is just like very generic. There's a few bits that are ride branded. There's so much going on in here, isn't there? I know it's part of the theme, but it's like, wow, where do you look? There's stuff absolutely everywhere. My favourite thing in here is something that you can't buy, but it's this notice board just over here, and it's got a few like Alton Towers little bits on here, like Plumbing Weekly appreciation for the water park. And over here, Europe's Premier Leisure Park. Not anymore, but there's a sign that we just on there from when it was back in the day. Well, our merchandise tour around Alton Towers has nearly come to an end. I've just got one more shop to see, and that's over here at Wickerman. There's Big Bob. Let's go have a look inside his shop on this rainy and windy afternoon at Alton Towers. And as soon as you exit the ride, you make your way into this really well-themed shop. Again, I think we saw most things up in Towers Trading. I'll have a little look down here and see what there is. I'm loving these cushions though, new for this year. Really good at £16. Yeah, the ride's running around empty, so I think that's why the shop is pretty quiet. Notebooks just there, and tote bags. £4 for the tote bags and £15 for the Wickerman notebook with the wooden effect. Just on there. I do love this shop though, it's so well themed. The bears, the packing cubes, we've seen those. Got a few kids hoodies and t-shirts down here for Wicker Man. 25 pounds. The design on just there. 20 pounds for that one. We've got some clothing just over here. A couple of different bits I think on this side. 35 pounds for that. 
too sure on the price for that. Did we see that up in Towers Trading? I can't remember if we did or not. I don't think we did, did we? £25. £25. White, black and brown just on there. Loads of your packing cubes, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> and he's not for sale. Well, there you go, you've got this version of Big Bob. I always have called him a, a mini version, but he's not quite mini when you look next to Charlotte. Yeah, he's, like, he's still massive, yeah, he's not for sale. But you've got three versions, and one of them for sale, you'll see it around the corner. Yeah, I think most of this stuff we saw, didn't we? There's some candles there. Oh, yeah. It seems like, in terms of Wicker Man, there's not as much merchandise now. Yeah. Uh, they don't sell anything now made out of wood um, from the, the spare bits from the ride or anything like that, which they used to. £12 for that. I'm not a fan no, of that. It, it looks really a bit cheap, cheap and, and tacky, that does. And talking of cheap, the resins just above, just here as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm really not, I'm not a fan of these, I'm really not. And there we go. You can buy it here, it is for sale. Just over I think it's 2,500, but we'll see on the other side. Some holders as well. Hats and gloves just down here, scarves, these are always pretty good. There's all your prices for those. Wicker Man patch, Jeez. these patches are really yeah, good. Yeah, they're one of the best things they've done this year. Yeah, as you selection. I like the little bobble hat just down there. That's pretty good. Oh, I can smell the gas. I can smell the gas. <laughs> I thought it was two and a half thousand, three thousand five hundred. There we go. Add another grand on. You do get your annual pass discount though. Do you want to get it? A few other little items just over here. Pin badge with twenty twenty four on the Wicker Man. There we go. That's the Wicker Man shop. Yeah, not as much new stuff for Wicker Man. I love this up there though. That is awesome. Amazing. He's not in the best place like when you're walking out because a lot of the time you wouldn't see him. But I do love him just up there, flickering away, down here at Wicker Man. Well, there we go then, back on the plaza after our 2024 Alton Towers shops and merchandise tour. There is so much good merchandise at the resort this year, so hopefully this has gave you some insights if you are coming to the park to see what you're going to pick up when you're next here. Gives you a good idea on what there is and also prices as well. I know a lot of you always enjoy seeing this every year. We tend to hold off a few weeks into the season just because a lot of the time new things aren't always in for the opening day, and that was the case this year. A few things like the extra resins and some other clothing wasn't at the start of the season and it is now and of course there's always new bits coming in throughout the year to win our park vlogs we'll always update you if there's new bits of merchandise normally towards the end of the vlog we'll always nip in towers trade in and have a little look at the new bits we've also recently visited the roller coaster restaurant to check out that we've got our opening day vlog we did an easter so queue much. times update <laughs> and we've still got the uh, food tour to come haven't we yeah, so stay tuned for that one i'm sure that will be a very interesting one <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get around have a look at the prices and the menus there's been some big increases on food prices this year at alton towers so we'll give you an update on that coming up very soon. Uh, but from here in the Alton Towers Resort, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next video.